Hey everyone, this is David Pike, the Motor City Mechanic. Now this video is part two on our series about DEF fluid. What we're going to be discussing is actually trying to figure out when that DEF fluid was made. We're going to go also into trying to determine when that fluid will probably expire. And the other two topics we'll talk about are the purchasing of DEF fluid as far as what you need to look for and also about the storing of the DEF fluid. So check it out. One thing about DEF fluid that people don't know about is the fact that it has a lifespan. It doesn't matter if it's in a sealed plastic container or an unopened box. DEF fluid will start breaking down over time. Now that's based on the production date of the fluid and also the temperature at which it's being stored at. Now different manufacturers have different ways of writing on the container the production dates. Some are clearly visible and some of them are hidden in a series of either letters or numbers. Now, I want to show you two different kinds today. I want to show you this leading competitor as well as the Mopar branded and we'll show how each one labels the containers differently. This one has it written somewhere on the box either as a series of numbers or on the container here as a series of letters and numbers. Now when you go to buy your DEF fluid, if you're buying for example, this brand, make sure you see that series of letters or numbers somewhere on the container. When I went to buy this one, I found containers that didn't have no numbers at all. I found them written real small like this, and I seen them written on the front in large letters and numbers. Make sure the bottle is marked with some sort of either series of numbers or a date. If it doesn't, move on to the next bottle. If not, go find another brand. You do not want to buy DEF fluid if you do not know when it was made. So let's go ahead and start with figuring out what the production date is on this brand name of DEF fluid. Now it's hidden in this series of numbers what the year is going to be and what the date is as far as it was produced. Now I'm going to show you step by step what you need to look for to figure that out. That way you know if the fluid's expired or if it's still good. So here's that series of numbers that we got off the back of that one gallon container of DEF fluid. Now what we're going to start with is the year that the fluid's made and then we'll move on to the month and the day. Now what we're looking for is the third and fourth digit in this series of numbers. There's a total of 11 letters and numbers but we're looking for the third and fourth. Now the third and fourth in this one ends up being 1 and 7, 17. So what we're doing with that 17 is we're going to subtract the number 1 from it. And that answer is going to be 16. Now 16 is the last two digits of the year. So in the end that means 2016. So now we know the year. Let's move on to the month and the date. Now the digits we're going to be looking at now are the 5th, 6th, and 7th. And those digits are 150, 150. Now the 150 stands for or represents the days remaining in the year. And we got to convert that 150 into something we can use to actually tell us the month and day. Now remember, the 150 represents the days remaining in the year. Now on that type of calendar, January 1st is number 365, December 31st is number 1, and as the days go by, the numbers get smaller. Now there's no real calendar out there that you can search online to find that actually has the days and the months numbered that way. But there is something similar called a Julian calendar. Some of you may or may not know what that is. But in a Julian calendar, the days are numbered completely opposite. January 1st is numbered 1. December 31st is numbered 365. And as the days go by, the numbers get larger. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up turning that 150 into a number we can use on a Julian calendar. And then we'll know the exact month and the date. So what we're going to do now is some simple subtraction. We're going to start with the number 365, which represents the total number of days in the year. And from that, we're going to subtract 150. That was the days remaining in the year that we got off that series of numbers from the back of that one gallon container of DEF. Now, the final answer on that is 215. The 215 is going to represent the number of days gone by in that year of 2016. We can use that 215 on a Julian calendar to find the exact month and date. So that's the next step. We're going to go ahead and pull up a Julian calendar and we're going to find out what 215 represents. 
Now this is your typical Julian calendar you'll find online that you can print out. Now across the top here we've actually got all the months of the year and along the side here we've got every one of the days. So all we do is we look on here, we find the number that we came up with and then we go up to find the month, we go left to find the day. So we look and we find our number 215 right here. Now when we go up we see the month is August and if we go to the left we see that the day was the 2nd. So we know that the fluid was produced August 2nd, 2016. So now you see what you got to go through to actually figure out the date on that container of DEF fluid that wasn't clearly marked. Now we know when the fluid was actually produced, we can actually talk a little more in a minute about storing it in temperature and then we can give you a rough idea of how long that fluid is going to be good. But first I want to show you how another brand actually marks their bottles as far as the dates. This is the Mopar branded DEF fluid and on the bottles they actually have it written. And some of them aren't as legible as others. For example, on the one gallons here, they decided to print them right here on the curve so it's kind of hard to see. But the larger 2.5 gallons is clearly visible. So it's printed right here on the front. They got a package date of 8-13-2016 and they got a best use by date of 8-12-2018. So you probably noticed from what we talked about earlier, 1618, that's that two year maximum shelf life under ideal storage conditions. As you saw, some manufacturers clearly mark the bottle with the production date and they give you the expiration date or the best buy date. While the other big name manufacturers hide it in a series of numbers. The information's there, but you gotta know how to break down those numbers to figure out the year, the month, and the day. And when you go to the store to buy your DEF fluid, Odds are you're going to come across one or two brands at the most, and that might be one of the brands you see. If so, make sure it's got that series of numbers, break it down, and figure out the date code. Because you do not want to buy DEF fluid that you don't know how long it's been sitting on the shelf. It may have expired already and deteriorated as well. So now we're going to talk about how the temperature that we store the DEF fluid at, how it has a direct impact on its shelf life. Now this is a graph that I got offline that actually kind of breaks it down a little bit easier for you to understand. If you look along the bottom, you'll see the actual degrees. We've got increments of 60 degrees, 80, and also 100. And on the left side, we actually got the shelf life in the number of months, starting from zero, going all the way up to 40. You'll see at 60 degrees, we have a shelf life around 36 months, which is equivalent to three years. Now, going over to the right, at 80 degrees, we've got a shelf life of 12 months, which is one year. And then, of course, onto the next increment being 100 degrees, we drop down to two months. So as you can see, between 60 and 100, there is a big difference. We're going anywhere from three years all the way down to two months. So in the real world, you're never really going to see DEF fluid being stored at 60 degrees all year long. So what we're going to kind of base everything off of is average temperature at where it's being stored. You're going to pick it up at one of the stores that sells it, correct? So we know that the average temperature in any kind of building like that is around 70 degrees. We know that at 60, we're getting three years. We know at 80, we're getting one year. So logic would say at 70, we're averaging the both out. We're right at the two-year increment. Now, remember that two-year, because on that Mopar bottle, remember that produce date and best by date equaled the two-year mark? that's where I'm coming up with that figure as well. As you see, we've got different things that are kind of showing you that the two-year mark is around the average of what you should see. Now, that brings us to the flip side. So my question to you is, what are you doing with the unused DEF that you bought? Are you storing it in the bed of your truck, in the toolbox, inside the cab of the truck, or at the garage at your house? Because we already know that those items are not going to be climate controlled. We're not going to get the optimum 70 degrees that gives us our two-year lifespan. We know in summer months, temperatures can get well over 100 degrees. So that fluid that's been stored in the bed of your truck or the cab or your garage, we already know that the life expectancy is starting to drop. So if you've got an unused container or something you did open up that you didn't use all of it, we already know if it sits back there for about two months, we're probably going to need to throw it out because it's no longer going to be good. Now when it comes time to buying your DEF, the one thing I want you to try to stay away from is truck stops and gas stations that dispense DEF fluid out of a pump. 
main reason why is that holding tank has ODF in it and when it starts dropping down and they come in and refill it they're just going to be putting new DEF on top of ODF and this cycle is just going to keep continuing that level drop so you're going to have this constant mix of old with new so you're never going to know exactly what the specific percentage of urea is in that fluid and the way around that is to buy your DEF in individual containers right here we've got the two most common sizes You've got your 2.5 gallon box and you've got your 1 gallon container right there. This way we know that the DEF is fresh, it has been unopened, and should be of good quality. And when you buy your individual containers of DEF, remember on the back or somewhere on the bottle, look for that date code, whether it's a long series of numbers that you've got to break down and decipher or if it's clearly visible, just make sure that the fluid hasn't expired. When you go to open the cap, you're going to be breaking the seal loose. Chances are that it's no longer going to be airtight. Much like this container, I've got the cap as tight as I can get it, and I still got crust forming around the outside edge. So that means if air can get in, the distilled water has the ability to evaporate. So if this sits around for months on end, what's going to happen is the distilled water is going to evaporate slowly but surely, and the urea inside, the percentage is going to go up. So the way to stop that from happening is only buy the amount of DEF fluid you need, or better yet, buy less than what you need. That way it doesn't sit around unused. We don't know if someone put something inside of this container, caused the percentage to go off. We don't know how much of the distilled water is evaporated. So if you got unused containers you're not going to use no time soon, best thing to do is to go ahead and throw away the unused portion. So hopefully after watching this video you've got better understanding of what DEF fluid is. Now you know there's more to it than just actually pouring it into the tank of the truck. There's things you need to know about it as far as the quality, the background as far as what it's made of, items like that. If you found the video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. Don't forget you can like me on Facebook. You can check me out on Instagram and Twitter as well. And if you got any comments or suggestions about today's video on the DEF fluid or anything Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram related, you can always email me at david at motorcitymechanic.com and I'll do my best to try to get back to you in a timely manner. Once again, everybody, thanks for watching every one of these videos.